time for another edition of Radio Bride Unveiled, and this time we're talking about the importance of booking your venues. When you first get engaged, the overwhelming feeling is so exciting, but before long, be thinking about a date and book those venues. I learned the hard way. Originally, Jeremy and I had set the date for April 11th, I believe. I booked the reception venue, the florist, the photographer. I didn't think I'd need to worry about the church. Wrong -zo. I called the church. The only wedding in 2015 was April 11th. So we decided to go back in March and it was okay, but I learned the hard way. So book where you want to get married because it's kind of important, right? Another important venue that you must think about booking is the reception venue. Now, we had a listener message me and ask, how do you choose based off prices and all sorts of good stuff because there's so many options in the area. Price is one, yes, but also look at their services. Sometimes reception venues include a bartender, which raises the price so you don't have to find your own. It could include linens, silverware, table stuff, all kinds of good stuff. So that price might kind of seem high, but it could be deceiving. So make sure you check that out. Jeremy and I chose the ambiance because we love that romantic feeling and we felt that that carried over from the wedding to the ambiance. So also look into the feeling that you want to have. Now that might kind of sound cheesy, but I am cheesy, so it works. And also be sure when you're thinking about venues, think about the size of party, I guess you could say, and if it can really handle it. If you want a smaller venue, that's fine, but you can't jam pack 500 people in there. So make sure you consider that and book your venues early. That's all I can say. You gotta have a place to have a party, right? More coming up on the next edition of Radio Bride Unveiled.